Hey everyone, it's Natasha. In today's video, I'm going to show you Kindergarten Math with Confidence from the Well-Trained Mind Press by Kate Snow. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natasha and I'm the mom to six girls. One is an adult and the other five are still at home being homeschooled. I am a credentialed teacher by trade and I have over a decade of experience in the classroom and a few more years experience teaching online. And I have a master's degree in educational leadership. We are going into our seventh year homeschooling. And if you are not new here, then thank you so much for coming back. Make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you love all things homeschool. Now let's jump in to kindergarten math with confidence. This is brand new. It just came out in May. This is an entire planned series. There will be K through grade four available eventually. So if you start kindergarten math with confidence in the 2020-2021 school year, the next level for grade one will be out for your next school year and so forth. If you know me, I am such a huge fan of the Well-Trained Mind Press and I am so excited that this program exists and I am going to walk you through it right now and show you all the amazing things that are in there. I have the instructor guide here and the student workbook. We're going to get to the student workbook in a minute. I want to focus right now on the instructor guide. So let's jump into the table of contents. And what you'll be covering in kindergarten is numbers to 10, shapes, directions, and patterns, comparing numbers to 10, addition, numbers to 20, measurement, subtraction, numbers to 100, and time. So here's the introduction. This program covers reading, writing, and comparing numbers, beginning, addition, and subtraction, shapes, patterns, and directions, counting to 100, money, time, and measurement. It provides daily review, and it's a blend of deep conceptual learning with traditional skills practice. It includes a colorful, engaging workbook to reinforce what your child has learned. It also gives some math picture book suggestions. Now, these picture books are optional and they are suggestions. So if you're familiar with The Well-Trained Mind, they do suggest that you read a math picture book once a week. So basically what this program has done is it has made a list for you that goes along with what you're learning each week. Please note that you do not have to buy these picture books. You can get them from the library or you can skip it completely. So if you simply want to do the instructor guide and student workbook, that is perfectly acceptable, but it does come with that, with those math picture book suggestions. And it also has weekly suggestions for everyday life math activities. But again, you could skip those if you wanted as well. So this provides scripted open and go lessons. It has clear goals at the beginning of each lesson. It has explanatory notes that help you understand more deeply how children learn math. And it has checkpoints at the end of each unit that give you specific guidance on whether to spend more time on the current unit or move on to the next one. So then we get into how to use this book and it talks about how do you know if your child is ready for kindergarten math with confidence and your child doesn't have to have a formal preschool program before this program but it is helpful if they have learned to count to 10 and hold a pencil so this program is organized into units weeks and lessons it has 10 units each unit has somewhere between two and five weeks for a total of 32 weeks there are four lessons in each week. So, so to rephrase that, there's 32 weeks of lessons, four days a week. Okay, so each week includes the following, an overview, teaching math with confidence, household materials needed for the week, and weaving math into everyday life, and the math book of the week. And again, these math picture book recommendations align with what your child learns each week, but they are optional, you don't have to do them. You definitely don't have to buy them. You can definitely get them from the library or choose alternate books if your library doesn't have them or just skip that all together. Lessons are designed to take about 15 minutes. And there are checkpoints at the end of each unit so that you can assess how your child is doing. Every checkpoint is divided into three parts. The what to expect at the end of the unit, is your child ready to move on, and what to do if your child needs more practice. But keep in mind that your child often does not 
need to have mastered all of the material from the current unit before moving on. It does recommend having a set time for teaching math every day so that you make sure to get to it and for consistency's sake. You will need to create a math kit. This is basic things you probably already have at home. You'll need 100 small counters. These could be anything from Legos to coins to dried beans pattern blocks. Now it does mention that this might be the only material that you don't already have at home and you might need to purchase. They do give a template in the back and use those and cut out, but you can find pattern blocks pretty cheaply on Amazon or at a teacher store or even at the thrift store. That's where I got mine. You will need some coins and you will need some blank index cards, paper, and pencils. There are sometimes other supplies needed through the lessons, but these are really are things that you will likely already have at home. There's no need to buy expensive manipulatives for this program. So then we get into unit one. It shows what you will be doing for each week, what your child will learn. And then it gets deeper here for numbers one through four for week one. Again, gives you that overview. It explains the teaching of the math. It tells you the household items that you will need for this week. It tells about weaving math into everyday life. And it gives you the suggestion for the math book of the week. So in this case, the book is Where's the Pear? This is an optional book that you can get from your library. Some examples of the household items needed is a small toy, a pair of shoes, small paper or plastic bag for gathering objects, construction paper for an optional collage project, and glue for an optional collage project, and a toy car with four wheels or a toy animal with four legs. So those really are things that you already have at home. Then we get into the first lesson. We have lesson 1.1, that stands for week one, day one and it's the number one. And so up here, it tells you the purpose for the activity and the workbook and the materials you'll need for the activity and the workbook. This is a scripted program, so what is in bold is what you say to the child, and what is not in bold is the child's expected response. It shows the activity here and the workbook page directions here. Then we get into lesson 1.2, number two. And again, it follows the same format, 1.3 and 1.4. They do have an answer key if you should need it, although most likely you will not need the answer key. Now we are going to jump into week 28 to show you some lessons that are farther along in the book. So again, we have the overview page that describes what you'll be doing for each lesson. The teaching math with confidence, this is information for you, the parent, the household items needed for week 28, which in this case are 100 small craft items such as stickers, pom-poms, dried beans, beads, or small paper squares, paper, preferably construction paper, glue, scissors, and tape. And then we have the Weaving Math into Everyday Life and the Math Book of the Week, which in this case is Toasty Toes Counting by Tens. Again, I wanna make it very clear that you don't need to go out and spend a bunch of money on these books. You can get them from the library, skip them all together, choose an alternate book that you already have at home. It is not meant to be costly. It is meant to enhance the child's education and to make it easier for you so you don't have to come up with a book idea, they've already done that for you. So this is really meant to bless you and not cause more stress or financial worry. Okay, so then we get into the lessons. Lesson 28.1, 28.2. See, they're going to be doing a craft project. There's uh, multiple craft projects scheduled throughout this curriculum, which I absolutely love. Lesson 28.3 and 28.4. Then there's our answer key here. And then here's an example of a checkpoint. So unit nine checkpoint, what to expect at the end of the unit. By the end of unit nine, most children will be able to do the following. Then it lists here the things that the children should be able to do. I recommend that you kind of look at these and decide has your child mastered those or not. And then some information, is your child ready to move on? Again, it said in the beginning, it doesn't mean that your child can't move on, 
but you might just notice some areas that you might need to put a little extra focus on. When all the lessons are done, we do have the scope and sequence, and then we do have the complete list of math books of the week. Now, I'm not going to show this entire list because I wanna respect the hard work of the author because the author has taken the time to come up with all these suggestions for books, and so I want to protect the integrity of that. And then we have the materials list, the uh, Black Line Masters, and then we have the workbook here, and it is, again, just one page per day of a worksheet, but you need to use the teacher's manual because that is the core of the program, like it tells you here. Remember, there's always the trace and then the part where they're working on the skill. Let me jump to the middle for you. And then get towards the end. You see they're doing subtraction here. I'm about time. Okay, so I hope that gave you a great look at what this program is all about and how you can use it in your home with your little one. As you can see, it is so precious, but really covers everything that you need to teach for kindergarten math. Thank you to the Well-Trained Mind Press for letting me review this book and keep a lookout because I will be reviewing this book as we go through it. And I will give you updates and I will give a final review when we're all finished with it. So definitely stick around because this is super exciting. All right. I'll see you in the next one.